Thanks, Maria. Topping the news this half hour, it's been one year since Russia invaded Ukraine and the war began. Some Ukrainians joined in the fight to save their country, while others sought refuge to get out of harm's way. Now, that includes the Isaacs family. It was one year ago that North Tonawanda native Joshua Isaacs and his wife Katerina Garber brought their two kids, seven-year-old Arden and four-year-old Anna, to western New York after deciding their home wasn't safe anymore. They lived in Kharkiv, which is near the Russia-Ukraine border. I did a story on them at the time and caught up with them this afternoon. A year later, Katerina and her husband have bought a house in North Tonawanda, and their kids are not dealing with bad anxiety anymore. They're getting some normalcy again, making friends at school, and they also enjoy having buffalo pizza and wings, which they can't get in Ukraine. Katerina tells me her family has had nothing but support from the community ever since they got here. We had so much support when we came here that we basically felt like we have left one family and came to another family here. And uh, that's not just the relatives of my husband, but also people we, we didn't know who just, uh, some of them came up to us in the street because they recognized us thanks to your program and wanted to help and ask how they could help or just gave us a hug that felt so good. I generally, I want to thank not just people here in Western New York, but to everyone in the U.S. for such great support in Ukraine. Before that, we had problems, and we mostly were alone with those problems. Katerina checks in on her 81-year-old father frequently. He stayed behind because he didn't think he'd make the journey with all of his medical issues. He's now moved to a safer location, an apartment in Kharkiv. The family's one-year-old border collie is also now staying with friends in Poland. Katerina says the people of Kharkiv are doing their best to rebuild, though the town still gets bombed frequently. Salem United Church of Christ in Tonawanda will send help to the town. If you'd like to help, you can donate money to the church. They are also collecting candy coloring books, school supplies, and kids' underwear and socks. The one rule is it must all be colorful because it's going to kids. And there's plenty of other ways to help out Ukraine, Kate. So everybody should stay tuned for the town hall, and I'll tell you how, how else you can help. All right, more to come. Yeah, all, all the help they can get, I'm sure. But right. it's nice to be able to catch up with them. Danielle, thank you.